So your presentation to the conference was titled Finding the Weak Link in Business, in, sorry, in Windows Binaries. Uh, that sounds a bit dry and, and technical, but why is that important? So historically, to be able to detect these deficiencies, you'd have need kind of highly trained individuals. And as kind of the security problem has become very apparent, we need to make it scalable. So we've basically come up with a way of allowing kind of typical quality assurance people in standard businesses to infer the security posture of programs that they buy from vendors without having access to the source code or the uh, other infrastructure that the, the vendor may actually have. So is this aimed at IT specialists within companies developing their own software or primarily those using off-the-shelf commercial software? So it's really aimed at both. So for companies that are developing their own software, uh, this can be pushed out to their QA teams and especially where they're licensing components that they don't necessarily produce and as kind of the kind of the austerity periods that we're in, we need to kind of outsource more of that development. It allows them to get that assurance. But then also for the more mature company that has kind of very strict security requirements, they can at least get some validation of the products they're buying from their vendors, have that base level, level of assurance, and then really push back and to get them to mature in, in accordance with their own security requirements. Are the risks from this type of software increasing? I mean, we're well aware of the risks posed by some websites and posed by phishing and those other type of attacks that may be directed directly at your firewall. Mm -hmm. But what about risks posed by applications themselves? Most people would assume, most IT directors would probably assume that they are already checked by the vendors. Um, well, uh, secure development life cycles is a maturing art, I think is a fair way to say it. And you know, it's a, it requires a lot of investment and so not all vendors are equal in their application of it. And as we see from the kind of the targeted attacks that are occurring in the industry, that the desktop is being used as a vector and, and being able to detect these deficiencies allows them to understand kind of where the weak link actually exists in their desktop infrastructure or in their server infrastructure if they're still relying on those types of apps. And how easy is that to do? If you're talking about a tool or a set of tools that you're going to make available to an IT specialist, but not an IT security specialist. Uh, yeah, and so that's definitely the kind of the, the mindset that Rex applies to all of its software development. Really, does it solve a demonstrable problem? Is it intuitive to use? And is it accessible by non-security professionals? And so we've gone through kind of quite a lot of effort to make it very apparent through color coding, red is bad, green is good, to so allow someone to not necessarily know the technical intricacies behind it, but at least raise problems or deficiencies with some context back to their vendors to at least kind of start that dialogue. And then what would they do if they identified a problem? What would be the recommended course of action? Yeah, so it, obviously if it's software that they've developed, then it's working with their own development teams or their component suppliers in order to get those uh, weaknesses resolved. If it's working with a, a kind of off-the-shelf product, it's really kind of um, articulating that to their vendor and, and really asking what their plan is to remediate over not necessarily the next release, but over the next few releases, just so the entire industry is, is benefited. So it's a question of tightening it up as you go along. Yeah, obviously this, you can't, this can't be solved overnight. And so it needs, kind of a, it needs enough of a, a voice in the industry, both as a kind of the buying public and a developer community, to be able to be able to detect this type of problem reliably and then kind of push back and say, this is what we need as customers, you know, as, as these kind of security weaknesses are increasingly exploited. Holly Whitehouse from Rex, thank you very much. Thank you.